Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rodian and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a behind the scenes video because over the past week or so we've had quite a quite a number of new subscribers so I feel like I need to sort of bring you all up to speed and show you exactly what this channel is all about really. Today's going to be, like I said, quite a bit of behind the scenes and also a little bit of a, almost a tour of the property really. Down here we have the fire pit that I built sort of about a week or so ago and in the background you can probably see that's the house that we are building. I'm going to go over there in a minute and show you but also we've got a few jobs that need doing today. For example, this here was a tiki bar built back in 2018, 2018 wasn't it? Yeah, for the World Cup. 2018 when we were in the World Cup and had a few, had a bit of a party around here and that was the tiki bar. I've sort of half taken it down and burnt half of it. So one job we need to do today is we need to take that down. And also, if we walk back down to the tutorial set, let's call it. So yeah, this is the tutorial set. As you can see, I still haven't taken down the barbecue that I built the other day. That needs to come down. We've got loads of off cuts that need coming down. Basically, this section needs clearing. This section needs clearing. That, that sort of trestle and bandstand needs moving, that, that trailer needs pushing back over there. That digger is a little bit temperamental at the moment. I think one of the motors is bust on it. I have spoken about this before, but this motor down here, it's not exactly in the right, right shape of mind. It's bust, I think, so it seizes up sometimes. So that needs replacing, but at the moment, obviously with lockdown and the virus happening at the moment, mechanics aren't exactly able to come out and check and sort that out for me. But anyway, all this crap needs clearing, all that needs clearing, this needs setting up and just sort of tidying up. And also, we have, okay, while we're here, I'll just, this is the house. To all of you new subscribers, because we have had quite a few turn up in the past week or so, this is the house that we have been building. And it, work has slowed down a little bit on it. I am working on a video that I'm doing the lead work around all the dormers. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that because that will be coming relatively soon. And then we also have some cladding that needs to go around the dormers. So that is work that can be done in lockdown because I have all the materials needed. Also, all this needs clearing. But before I clear all this, I need to get the digger working. There's going to be another bonfire by the looks of it. So we're going to have a, a nice burn up as well. I don't know if that's going to be today, but we'll see what happens. So that pretty much encompasses the plan for what we're going to have done for today. Uh, oh, ignore that behind me. That needs ripping down and destroying and putting in a skip at some point as well. We've got a skip out front, so a lot of the stuff's going to go in the skip. But it's not just me doing this today. I've got a helper. Hello, Holly. Hello. So things are going to get done doubly quick. Well, unless we just end up chattering and messing about like we do normally. So we never know. Anyway, first port of call. What are we doing first? Tiki bar. Tiki bar. We're taking the tiki bar down. I know it seems a little bit sacrilegious to do that at the beginning of summer, but it's in the way. So I think that's the first thing to do. So let's just get cracking with that. Do we need a fire extinguisher for the uh, for the fire pit? Mm. No, maybe. Keep Judging by my fires, I think that is a little bit small for <laughs> <laughs> for the stuff that we end up blowing up. Okay, right. Let's get started. So it's not just the tiki bar. It's also a dumping ground for stuff that we were going to take to a charity shop. Not, two yeah, two, two years ago we were going to take <laughs> it to a charity shop. Yeah. And now it's just sat down here. All the spiders living there. Like, for example, <laughs> my favourite pair of shoes I've ever worn. <laughs> Fantastic little number, these. I've actually never ever worn those. No, well, it certainly looks like it. Do you want to put them on now? <laughs> So all this lot, including my beautiful shoes, are going in the wheelbarrow and into the skip. <laughs> Do you know what that is? What? No. Oh, is that a sexy bit of gear? <laughs> I better not put that on camera. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> That's that, let's just knock this down.
And just like that, a tiki bar turns into a pile of firewood. I'm gonna run the chainsaw over this later and we are gonna stick it all in the fire pit. So we're gonna have a bit of a burn up later and I'll cordially invite all of you lot to join us. So stick around and we'll have a little bonfire later. Now, the reason we took the tiki bar down was for two reasons. One, it was just not getting used. And two, there is actually a greenhouse behind there that Holly is very lovingly clearing out. And we just sort of want to try and put it to a bit of use. We want to use it, don't we? In case we run out of food. In case we run out of food. We don't know how long this lockdown is going to carry on for. So we're going to grow some, I don't know, what we're going to grow in there? Some cannabis, probably. <laughs> yeah. no, I better not say that, I'll get demonetised. <laughs> I lost my job. <laughs> Holly lost her job, so we're going to turn it into drug dealers. <laughs> I really shouldn't say that, but no. Grow, grow some fruit and veggies in there and just see what happens. It currently looks like something out of Jurassic Park. Oh, Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, there's a football from the World Cup. Oh, no way. Mm. There's an old level in there. Blimey. Oh. Let's pull that out. Okay. Uh, can you hack me a way in, please? Oh, it's a lovely spider. Um, oh, he doesn't like spiders. Well, I don't mind spiders. I don't like spiders on me. Oh, there we go. Just to clarify. Let me, um, I'll... It doesn't look like a stabila. There you go. Thank you kindly. What is that? A level. Yep. <laughs> Very funny. Rabone Craftsman. I don't think I've ever heard of them. Well, evidently I have heard of them because I've used the level. Where is that made? Made in England. Well, I'll tell you what. Might see if that's any good. No, I'm not even going to bother seeing if that's any good. That's going to be like an emergency only level, I think. Right, we're going to clear this up a little bit and uh, move on to the next job. Right, now that we've sorted out Jurassic Park over there. Turned out quite nice, I think. Yeah, it's not finished, but there's there's what resembles a greenhouse now. I think a bit of TLC in there. That'll come up trumps, I reckon. And no, we're not going to grow cannabis in there. The one thing we have trying to, been trying to grow, old oh, Bonnie the bonsai tree. We tried and we failed. Well, we thought we failed, but it's actually getting some little buds growing on it. Can we just say we we did, we haven't actually tried? Yeah, okay. We, we just have, left No, it. I say we tried as in we bought it. We bought it. one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the consi that's No the... effort has gone into this. <laughs> so we bought it, left it inside, because it, it, under the impression it was an indoor uh, plant, and then we neglected it. All the leaves fell off. It looked like it died, so we left it outside in the rain. And apparently there's a little bit of life left in it. Anyway, enough of our horticulturalism. Is it horticulturalism? Agriculture? Growing shit. We're not very good at it, huh? I said, don't know. Oh. So, what's the next job we're doing? Um, trying to move the digger and the trailer. Try and move and the digger, the trailer. Clear up the bricks. And clear up the set, the mm. tutorial set. Yeah? And the rest. And the, the rest, <laughs> as <laughs> in everything else. So, no, okay. I mean that area. Just clear up. So it's Alright, let's go over there and see what we're, what we're looking at. Oh, by the way, Holly, stop. Don't turn around. I'm plugging my merch. Oh. <laughs> Merch link in description. Some fantastic stuff. Off the trail shirts. Yeah, link in description. Go and check it out. Anyway, so what are we doing? That chair needs to be knocked down. <laughs> There's no way I'm knocking that down. <laughs> the chair's staying, the play button's staying. I need to take down the um, barbecue. Okay. And this needs clearing up. Well, that needs tidying up. That'll be my job. Then. Well, no, I'm not dictating what's your job. I'm saying I'll clean that up. And you do that. And you do that, so I kind of am dictating what you're doing, aren't I? Um, yeah, we need to keep all the whole bricks and put them over here. Yeah. Everything else we need to put in wheelbarrows. Yeah. And what we're going to do... Where we have the massive hole for where I dug up all the sand to build the house. That hole. Oh, by the way, if you are new to the channel, then I did speak about it earlier. The house that I built, there's a link in the description to the house build playlist where you can see this being built from absolutely nothing here whatsoever to what you see today uh, it's been quite the challenge um, but yeah that will be linked down in the description so if you're new here go and check that out because that is pretty much what started this channel that's where it all grew from so yeah and this hole I use the digger that doesn't work at the moment we'll get to that in a minute to dig out all the sand to build the house 
Anyway, this is going to be the soakaway. So a soakaway is where you take all the rainwater off the roof, it goes in the pipes, um, in the gutting, down the drain, into the drainage, and then it soaks out into here, which is essentially full of hardcore, like bricks, block, bits like that, and it helps disperse the water into the ground. So we need to pile up all that hardcore, sort of round here somewhere, so that can eventually go in that hole. I do have to put a cage in there, but I'm not worried about that just yet because nowhere's open, so I can't buy one anyway. Anyway, so we're gonna put all the hardcore here, so that needs to go there. All those massive amounts of cuts I did, I just sort of left all the offcuts here, so all that needs tidying up. Cool, there's a fair lump here that needs tidying up, isn't it? It looks like a right old pit. Anyway, so we'll start over there. That'll be the first couple of jobs. So let's go and do that now. Oh, do you know what, guys? I don't know if I can be bothered to do this. Let's try something out. And it can go. Done, just like that. I'll tell you what, that was much better way of doing it. I think I should do that a little bit more often. Piled up all the bricks, barbecue's gone. I've taken some of the earth that came out of the fire pit and just backed up around the chair and in front of the play button just to make it look a little bit nicer. Obviously the barbecue's gone. Got the reclaimed bricks all set out, ready to go. All this stuff here's gone and just much better. I moved the, the, um, the mixer over there and yeah, it's just looking a lot better now. I'm much happier with that. Right, well, that worked so well over there. Let's try that again. Ready? And there we go. It is clear. I'll tell you what, that looks 10 times better. Absolutely fantastic. Ear hole. Make a good team we do. Yeah, that's that all cleared away. Trestles away, all that cutting area that I had when I was doing all those cuts is all cleared away. Everything is looking spick and span. Now we have to do, I'll tell you what, here, hole. Do you know how to drive a digger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the keys? I've driven it before. You have? Yeah. Oh, there's going to be spiders. No. There's a... Um, yeah, a little tape measure. Tape measure. While I've got everyone's attention, these tape measures are, are great. Tiny little tape measure, put it in your back pocket, two metres long, perfect for little little measuring jobs. I'll leave no. a link for one of those down in the description. You need to do it the to the left first. And there'll be a, that light turns on. So turn it, hold it to the left. Yeah, hold it until that light goes out. Right, now turn it the opposite way. Uh-oh. All the way. Oh no, I think we've got a flat battery. Try it again. What, left? Left, do it all the way left. Let's give it some beans. Yeah, let it go out. Now turn it. Oh, come on. I've actually got a different battery, so let me quickly change it. Back okay. in a second. I've got that on there, I won't better get it off now. Uh, so I want to do righty tighty, lefty loosey. That way. Who the fuck's loosey? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> right, let's get this out. This looks like this hasn't been out in a while. Cool, can you hold that? I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> Crikey! How the hell did that even get in there? It's a car battery, it's not really supposed to be in there. You've got so many comments telling you off. I know. I don't know anything about cars. So I'll probably get told off for saying I shouldn't put that in there. Now, I don't even know if this is charged. It looks smaller, does it matter? It is smaller, yes. This smaller ones are the ones that go in here before. I don't know who put that in. It certainly wasn't me. Probably Dad. I've plonked that one in. I haven't tightened it up too much, but let's give it a whirl. Turn it all the way around. Turn the key all the way around. Sorry. Is that all the way? No, no that was all the way. It's not even shine. Alright, okay. That, that one is completely flat. Let me try and find another one. Okay, so I couldn't find another battery, so I put the big one that was in there on charge. So hopefully, because it was almost going, so if we get a little bit of charge in there, maybe an hour or so, that should get going. Till then, we need to push this back there. We were going to do it with the digger, but I don't think that's a possibility. So get your strong arms on and we'll push it back over there. 
And then once it starts going, we just don't stop. I'll tell you what, that was a bit easier than I expected, eh? One swift push and it's there. Jobs are good in. A bit more than one. What? Push. Oh, it was a little rock and then a, a big hefty push. So we got there in the end, but it's looking so much clearer out here now. This is what happens when you don't have a labourer on the job. You just leave your crap lying around. And I guess I'm a bit messy. I really shouldn't be so messy, but one day and we've, uh, we've got it all sorted. Well, this section anyway. Looks much better. Next time we'll have to tackle this side, I think. I think we're going to have a burn up, aren't we? A bonfire. Not, not, more not today. Oh yeah, that old jalopy needs to move. Again, that doesn't work. It just goes to show that I don't know much mechanically. I'm not very mechanically minded. So two people have come around to look at that jalopy truck and no one seems to want to fix it. So I guess that's going to be a scrap jobby. Anyway, there will be another bonfire and there will most probably be petrol involved. We all know on this channel that I love a bit of a burn up and I love a bit of petrol. So, what's next? Um, I think that's it. I think that's moving it for the, the digger. Moving the digger. We'll have to wait about an hour. So what I'll do is I'll come back to you in sort of about 45 minutes to an hour and we'll see if we can get the digger moving. We can clear some more of the greenhouse. We'll clear some more of the <laughs> greenhouse. Right, okay, it's been about an hour, give or take, isn't it? Yeah, so I've plugged her in. Let's give it a go, see if she turns over. Go on. Right, we've got a light, that's a good sign. We had a light before. I know, and it almost worked, so it can't be any worse than it was before. Oh, that might have been because I moved it. Right, go on. Yeah, boy! Where am I going? We oh. have life! Right, hold on. How do I get this up? Just, just hold on, wait a second. I've got to lock the door. Right, okay. How do I lift this one? Uh, pull back on one of those two. Not that one, the other one. That's it. Right, now, because you're... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, you're getting ahead of yourself. You need to lift up... The, the blade is down at the back, so you need to pull that back. And that'll lift that blade up. Right, now, because you're twisted round, you need to pull backwards on those to go forwards. Pull up both straight back, as hard as you can. Oh, OK, right, we may have an issue. Press them forwards. Right, and both of them, just push them all the way forwards. Whoa. Now pull them all the way backwards. Yeah, right, this is the issue. Yeah, this is the issue. So this wheel here, see how that stops? Yeah. See how that stops? This motor here, I think is kaput. That's what's the problem with it, I think. What do you reckon? So what the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> no swearing. Sorry, I didn't think you were... Um, before... But we could go backwards. No, you can't because you can only go... Let me show you. It sort of stops in that position. Basically, when it happened before, I'd left it for about a month and it sort of stopped seizing itself up and it worked, that's how I got it here because it was in the front garden originally. So I think what I, about I can wiggle it along. If we take this and pull it along. What I'll do, no, what I'll do because it's a lump. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try the ultimate. No, if you take this and then you lift it, pull it forward, is that stupid? No, it's not, stu it's not stupid. It's not but... stupid, but you'll be pulling like dead weight. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to lean it on its side and wiggle it forward. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright, you grab this and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. <laughs> 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 if you're along 
subscriber to the channel, you might know about this, let's call it a little quirk of this digger. So I've turned it off. Apparently I've turned it off. I have to turn it off like this. Now, How did you do it? there's a little, there's a little bit of metal here oh, for God's sake. that is attached to <laughs> the, I think it's the throttle and it pulls it so it cuts the fuel that goes into it so it can't run anymore. Wow. It's the dodgiest thing ever. But she, she does run. She sort of runs. Me? Uh, no, not you. I, I don't mean, run. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure exactly what's happening with this. Is it that one? No, it's the one on the other side. Yeah, that in there. I believe it's the motor that, that drives it and obviously as you saw it was a bit sticky and then for some reason it just unstuck so I really don't know what's up with that and like I was saying because of the Motorola virus I can't have anyone come and look at it because no one's working but luckily I, I think it works now well it's out of the way so it's out of the way but that means that big pile of stuff over there we might be able to get rid of that I'll do it tomorrow you'll do it tomorrow you'll need a digger Holly might be on the digger tomorrow let us know down in the comments. Do you guys enjoy these little vlogs that we did? We just thought we'd try something a little bit different. We didn't really build anything today. We're just sort of tidying up really. But I know that you guys liked our challenge videos that we did. So we thought we might do a video together and see if you guys like it. If you do like it, let me know down in the comments. Or do you think that stuff like this should be put on my other channel, my vlog channel, which is not about the house build. But I guess this is about the build in a way. Kind of. It's the garden side. Yeah, so landscaping, would you call it? <laughs> I think it's just called making a mess. But anyway, let us know down in the comments if you enjoy this and if you would like to see more of it, because, yeah. We like doing it. Yeah, we, we love doing it. So if you want to see more, then, yeah, let us know. Should we go and make a bonfire? Yeah. We're going to go and set the bonfire out ready <laughs> for later. Right, I've set up a little bit of a bonfire ready to get going. But... While well, I've got you here, I just want to show you a little bit of progress we've had on the greenhouse. We've been busy little bees. It doesn't look like Jurassic Park anymore. It still just looks like a dilapidated, I don't know. Mess. Yeah, a bit of a mess, but we pulled all this stuff out. I'm going to let that die and then I'm going to chuck all that on the fire. So that probably won't be this afternoon. But yeah, looking, looking pretty tidy. We could grow a few fruits and veggies in there, I reckon. Might need a new roof. The roof's a bit tatty and old. There is no roof. <laughs> there is no roof. There's half a roof. Let me show you. We've got half a roof. Oh, oh, okay. Did you put your head through that or something? Absolutely needs a new roof. Yeah. Head through what? There's a big gap in there. That never used to be there, surely. It did. Are you sure? Yeah, I did not put my head through it. Okay. <laughs> Looks like someone's been playing football. Okay, so there's the greenhouse. Yeah. Let's know if you enjoy it. Because we're more than happy to make more videos like this, aren't we? Yes. Yes. Right, so is there anything else we want to do before we take the fire? Tidy up a little bit. Right, we won't let them, they don't need to see us tidy up. No. Right, we'll tidy up a little bit and get ready for a bonfire. So get your marshmallows ready, <laughs> get your beers ready. We'll all have a little, little sit down and have a nice bonfire later because we've had our day at work today. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Ready? Got your marshmallows ready? It's not exactly beer, it's just like sugary cider. Anyway. <laughs> Dirty bitch. You know me. This should go up pretty quickly. He says. But it goes out. I, mean, I guess that's it. What's the word with the sound? I am ASMR. ASMR fire channel. <laughs> well, there we go. I do feel like there's like six and a half thousand people sitting over there now. Six and a half thousand people fit in a very small space. Shall Cheers, I? guys. 
Show us your shit. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. We've got plenty of wood over here to burn as well, so sit tight, we'll have a nice old burn up. Always got to have a good pokey stick, and I don't mean like that, you mucky bunch. Oh, that is one. Right, we'll leave it there, guys. We're going to sit here and enjoy this. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this. Remember, let us know in the comments if you want to see more vlogs like this. Yeah, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. So, take care. And enjoy the fire. Cool, that's a bit close, that is. Crikey. Whoa! 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 Fucking hell! Woo! <laughs> right, we'll back you up a bit because I think you were melting them. Right, see you next time. I think this should be the thumbnail. Whoa! I'm actually scared! <laughs>